What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Jordan Peele's no opening this video here again today, diving a little bit deeper into Kiki Palmer and her character and why she may in fact be the villain involved with the uh extraterrestrial otherworldly experience going on in the movie based off of the earlier report that I recalled saying that she would be the villain. I found something like that. And then also her recent comments that she made a couple months back in like March, mid-March I think where she was talking about her character how jordan peele was very interested in her opinion on her character and how it's always something like she has wanted to do and just going into how the script the first time she read around i guess the direction they took her character shocked her so it seems like her character is very important uh this again is from that interview she continued on by saying i was just shocked the initial conversation with him was just him talking to me about the project and then me reading the script and it was just a very incredible process very intimate and collaborative it was obviously his vision but what i mean by collaborative is that he really valued my opinion on my character so again it seems like that character that kiki plays in the film is very important enough to to the point where it seems like not saying he didn't do this with other people but it seems like she's trying to make a point here with how she's using her words um, she also stated that she was blown away with the first time she read Peel's script and she may have given a subtle hint about her character's fate in the process she said i was in shock i think i was in shock about my character i just felt like these are the things i dreamed of doing that's what i felt uh so like again she the way she's wording it it seems like the character that she's portraying in this movie has some importance as it pertains to the otherworldly events going on and maybe something that is going to be a big twist in the movie regarding her character and then i did find a report from the illuminati who deadline had used them as a source at one point also when they reported this they they put out the article in 2021 kiki palmer attached to the villain role in mysterious jordan peele project starring daniel kalua now i have made it a point to say that of course at the time this could have been how it was reported to them from their sources and that's why they related to the rest of the public in that manner and that actually could just not be the case and she actually just isn't the complete villain this time around in the actual movie itself but going off of some of her more recent comments about her role in the movie i think that either one or two things will happen either these aliens have always been here and she's one of them and this has something to do with how they can take different forms and we'll find out that she has been a part of this uh in-game ultimate plan that these aliens have or it could be a thing where they when the aliens arrived because it looks like there's also a moment where Stephen Young's character has like a an attraction with products being sold, designed after the aliens that have recently arrived. Uh, again, it seems like the movie is set in the mid 2000s. So the other scenario I'm thinking of is maybe sometime after the aliens arrival, certain humans started joining forces with them in an effort to save themselves. And we'll find out that Kiki Palmer's character was someone who was in contact with the aliens post arrival in an effort to save her own life. And we'll find out that the ultimate end game has something to do with the aliens, of course, replacing the human race. They've already crafted something beyond where the aliens have come from, from the from the humans to be teleported to. Something like that could go down. That's just like the two major scenarios I'm thinking of as it pertains to what kiki's character will be related to in some fashion with these aliens because we know daniel kalu is supposed to have some otherworldly experience and i think this again will be heavily related to a big twist revolving the character of the character portrayed by kiki palmer and learning that she has she has been in cahoots with these otherworldly entities uh either from the start before they even arrived or sometime after they arrived in an effort to save herself i know many people would probably just prefer that if this does involve like some shape shifting aliens that maybe kiki palmer is indeed just one of those aliens herself and this is a form that she managed to take how they will relay this in relation to of course how daniel's character never knew about it and who this person is that he's actually known for so many years I don't know how that'll come across. Maybe those will actually deal with the fact that, again, this was a real person that Daniel knows of, but it's not actually her. It's someone else, meaning one of those aliens. And the real Kiki Palmer's character was taken many years ago prior to the aliens ultimate invasion of the planet. 
and how this all factors into the social commentary aspect and all those other good things that I'm pretty sure Jordan Peele will have disclosed and dished out in this film as it pertains to its narrative. I don't know all of those things. I'm still kind of having those get juggled around in my head, trying to understand the different directions this man could take. Uh, obviously, again, I've made it clear. I think there's a lot of inspiration being pulled here from the invasion or the monsters are due on Maple Street, uh, the invasion of the body snatchers also as well given that he's the head of the twilight zone series or heavily involved with that series right now i think that it's safe to say that he will have a lot of importance or a lot of importance in relation to drawing inspiration from his reboot of the twilight zone and he's doing that here even further with his new movie title nope uh, obviously again we're all expecting a first look trailer or more extended look trailer to be released after that footage was shown at CinemaCon which of course seemingly confirmed that it is indeed aliens. Kiki was also someone who was wise to not go into any real specifics at the time when that interview came out. She was just going over some of the things that Jordan had stated. She didn't want to really go into too many details because it seems like everyone is invested in wanting to preserve the shocking things I, i'm certain will be revealed as this movie unfolds because again it seems like there's an attraction going on at some point in the movie with products sold that are that are designed after these aliens so it might have been a case where the aliens came humans for whatever reason in that area decided to build attractions around them and try to profit off them and then something of course else just transpires where we find out some of these humans are in cahoots with the aliens and the way Kiki has recently talked about her character makes me think that she will be one of those humans in cahoots with the aliens or indeed if she's not a human herself we'll find out that she is indeed an alien that might have replaced someone Daniel Kaluuya's character knew many years ago and thought was still with him but they've actually been gone for quite some time and that'll just be another big revelation to him that might be a factor into this otherworldly experience he's expected to have as the movie unfolds and progresses with all the madness that i'm sure jordan peele will have ready for us in our efforts to explore and understand his mind even further in july when this movie releases but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below do you think that kiki palmer's comments indicate that she is indeed going to be the villain as the report had stated back in 2021 or is there something else going on and of course we're just looking too far into it but let me know down in the comment section if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video